Hey everyone! Today I'm going to just show you a quick peek at my fridge and how I organize it. Okay, here's the front of my fridge. Just a basic two-door fridge with the fridge on the right and the freezer on the left. And my fridge actually has a an alarm on it, so if it's open for too long, it goes crazy. So let's see if I can do this quickly. On the top shelf, I just keep all of our beverages, milk, kids cups, everything, beverage goes up there. Then on this next shelf, I keep a basket and all of our cheese goes in here. So string cheese, any kind of cheese, shredded cheese, cream cheese, everything goes in there and I just tuck it in the back so I can pull it out if I need to. And then this bin is our eggs. I actually have some extra things my husband brought home the other day in there, but typically I just keep our eggs in there. We're running low. We normally have a few cartons of eggs. This next shelf, I have a leftover bin, so anytime we have leftovers, I just stick them in there, and everybody knows they can grab those for lunch. And then I have this tray, and all of these baskets that are in here are from the dollar store. This tray just has all of our fruit. So I have a bunch of watermelon and then things that go along with fruit. So, and sour cream, that's kind of extra. But, you know, um, just yogurt and cottage cheese. There's another thing of yogurt down below there. So just little things like that that I can stick back there. And this bottom shelf is mainly for my daughter. And I have snack bins. So on this snack bin, I just have a bunch of yogurts in here that she can grab. The middle one is just vegetables. So little carrots. I have celery sticks in there. And then this one on the very end just has fruit. So grapes and little baggies and fruit cups. And then there's some extra jello left over from a special treat we did recently and behind all of these bins and the reason why I like using bins so much is because I can pull the bin out and there's room behind there for other stuff so we have extra an extra box of the gogurts that was a Costco deal so we bought a bunch of boxes and then behind here we're able to I'm able to stick things that don't really have a place like cookie dough and cool whip Stuff like that. But there's also room behind this one. So if I have anything extra that I need to have a room for, I can put it behind the bins. Same thing with all of these bins. I can pull these bins forward and I would still have plenty of room in the back if I needed to. But I typically keep them to the back unless I have things. And then in my drawers, my first one is my veggie drawer. And in here, I just have these Dollar Tree shoe bins to separate the drawer. And then I have some lettuce and some zucchini and cucumbers, you know, the normal things. Some bell peppers up front. And my bottom drawer, I have meats. And you can see I also have everything labeled. It just makes it easy for everyone in my family to open the fridge and know exactly where everything is. And I just keep different meats down here. So if I'm defrosting or thawing something out, I don't know. How do you say that? Defrost, thaw? I don't know. But if I have meat that's in here that I need to take out of the freezer, I just stick it in here. That way it's good to go. Everything is in this bottom drawer. Let's shut the door for just a second so the alarm doesn't go off. Okay. And then on the door, nothing special, just a typical, what you typically see. Just keep the butter up here. And this shelf is typically full, but I need to fill it back up. My husband just left, so he filled up his cooler with water for work. But we just keep all of our bottled water on that shelf. And then the next few are just our condiment shelves. We I usually keep all of our creamers and half and half and stuff like, like that and extra drinks like my husband has these teas just extra things on this shelf Pedialyte for the kids some this is why I usually we'll keep cans of biscuits or anything that we have and then the next two are the condiments 
These are basically condiments that we use more often for like sandwich making or pasta salad or something like that. So I keep these up front. It's also an extra thing in the back of my husband of his steak strips. He keeps those back there so they just talk and you don't really see them. And then up front is just salsa and extra um, pasta salsa. That's stuff that we will use more regularly than the stuff on the bottom. And this stuff is just extra things that we don't typically use all that often. There's a bunch of sweet stuff down here for like ice cream, caramel, chocolate sauce, just stuff like that. There is the grape jelly down here and I have a big thing of garlic. So just random stuff. This is more of the sweet the sweet uh, section minus these two things. There we go. Sweet and savory over that side. So that's the fridge. Nothing too special. Same thing basically with our freezer. Give you a quick overview. Okay, so I again have used these dollar store uh, shoe bins and I'm, I love it because I'm able to fit two on a shelf and I can just pull them out and there's extra things tucked behind there so I have like a big bag of of um, tater tots and there's bread garlic bread on that side but I, I keep all of our veggies so I'm able to fill this up we have a deep freezer as well, so I can go to the deep freezer and get veggies out and put them in here. This is our freezer that I use generally to make our dinners. Anything that's in our deep freezer is typically um, overstock or stuff that I'm stocking up on that we're not using on a regular basis. And then I have a quick breakfast item. So this is just stuff that I like to pull out for my daughter. I have some ready-made pancakes and some hash browns some these are for my husband that I make but they are burritos breakfast burritos and this next section is just random stuff there's a quick meal so anything that's quick these are um, mozzarella sticks that you can just pop in the oven these are little bags of chicken fried rice so I stick those in there in case we need those quickly and in the back, oh, I tuck the freezer pops for the kids, just in case they get sick, gotta keep those on hand. And then on this side is my husband's favorite, the ice cream. He loves the bluebell, so we have that back there. And I've recently gotten back into couponing, so that's why you'll see the boxes of Dove ice cream. We haven't had that in a while. And this fridge looks like it's actually missing one of the shelves, if you can see the little the little holes where I think the shelf was supposed to go. I'm not sure why. I'm looking for a bin that will fit on top of this track. I just haven't quite found one yet. So as soon as I can find one, I'm going to put a bin or something right there to make another shelf. That way I have more room to put things. But for now, I kind of pull the bin out a little bit so there's a little space back there and I'm able to stick this bag of biscuits that we get from Costco. And down here, you, as you can see, it's kind of bare. I need to go to the store. I haven't been this week yet. But this is where I keep all of our meats. So right now I just have a bunch of chicken thighs and chicken breast and some shrimp back there. And another cool tip that I recently discovered is I can hang things from this wire shelf using, I don't know if you can see it, I think it's covered up, but just using one of those um, paper clips that you get for like grouping a bunch of papers with, the claw clips, and it works perfect. You can just hang it, hang whatever you need from these wire shelves, if you have the wire shelves. And then the last section on the freezer I'm going to show you is the door. So up here, the top shelf, just keep extra candy, that way they don't go bad. We have a bunch of Snicker bars and some Reese Pieces, and behind that I keep all of our ice packs in case I need those for the kids or we're going out and we need to keep food cold. 
this next shelf I keep is really just random stuff. Um, there's some of those cordon blue easy meals just in case I need to heat something up for somebody. Some pizza rolls. That's the most healthiest thing. Huh? And then a few random ice cream bars, which I probably should put over there with the other ice cream. And then on this next shelf is another just random, there's a bunch of corn dogs. I have a three-year-old, she loves corn dogs. And then some chicken strips. Just something easy if someone needs a quick lunch or is hungry on really fast and needs something, they can just heat it up real quick. And then this bottom shelf is pre-made things that I've made that I had extra of that I froze. So this one's enchilada sauce if I need that. This is stuffed pepper mix. So if I ever need to make stuffed peppers, I already have the mix already done. I don't even need to do anything but just buy peppers and stuff it with this mix. So that is... Can you hear the alarm? I guess the freezer has an alarm too. I didn't know that. But that is my fridge tour. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.